Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Does it ever bother you that you might have to reload the same digital assets every time you want to work on a file, particularly in KDN Live, where you just need kind of like that core set of project defaults and you have to get them every time? Well, I have a workaround for you to make a project default so that you can get them loaded and get quicker into your work. Let's see how to do it. As I promised here, let's go into Kden Live and let's look at how to do this. Now, I did dig through all the settings as of this moment, and right now we are working in version 22.08. And you do have the ability to set a default project type, meaning that you can go into the settings and you can go to the project defaults and you can pick first of all, what kind of quality do I want? What kind of frame? frames per second do I want? Um, where do I want my projects to live? A couple of those things, the default number of tracks, but you can't set what preloads into that project. And if you're a rapid creator, you always need the same base things, same starting sounds, a couple of branding images and watermarks and things that you always use for every project. This would be a great feature to have, but it's not there. So. I found a workaround to get through this, and I just wanted to explain how to do this. And this is very simple. This is a quick tip, easy things that you can do without really any trouble, is I always start every project with making folders because I always have sounds. If I right click and make a new folder, I always have images uh, that meet it inside. So I'm just gonna click and drag that outside. So I don't want that <laughs> nested there. And you could take this in a lot of different ways. You could make videos if you want to keep your videos separately. Maybe you have default animations that you use. Um, we've gone over animations in other videos and how you can do that uh, with Glaxnamate. Um, so I always start with a folder structure. And then from here, I drag things in that I use every time. Um, and then I start working. I load in the other recordings that are relevant uh, to the project and I get going. But if you start with this, if you start with the core things that you have, that you always use, the next thing that you would do is go to File and Save As. And I'd recommend giving this a name something like Project Default, something like that. Save it and then Every time you want to start a new project, all you have to do really is go into recent because it should remember, reload that. That's going to pull in everything that you already have. And immediately, this is important, <laughs> do another save as and give it your new name. Okay, and then save that and then add your new files to it, your new recordings. And it's a really easy powerful way of speeding up how you get everything and especially if you've accrued a lot of like base things that you just use every time that you need uh, in every project so that's it another quick and easy tip on how you can speed up and get more out of this tool this is a fantastic free open source tool Caden live there's a link in the description below to go download it and try it out if you haven't done that already um, go ahead and take that opportunity and do that all right if this was useful to you, please give me a thumbs up so I can know if that was helpful. Also, subscribe if you haven't done that already and leave a comment. Ask a question just so we can go stronger in our experiences together. Also, thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. And I will see you again at the next video.